One of the most useful collection types in Dart is the list type. There are many ways to create lists and each is useful at different times. When you want to generate a list of values using a callback and a known length, use list generate. Generate is a named constructor on the list class that creates a list and fills it with a specified number of items. The items are generated using a callback function that's past the items index as an argument. In Flutter, list generate can be useful when creating lists of similar child widgets for rows and columns, especially when you don't need the scrolling functionality of list views, or when you're combining a variety of related widgets. For example, imagine you're building this UI element for a book review app with five icons in between some text and a button. You could create a row whose children are a text widget, a button, and five icon buttons, but that's error prone and hard to maintain. Instead, you should use list generate constructor to create the list of icon button widgets that will be nested in this row. For this example, the list needs to be created with room for five elements. And for each index, the generator method will be called and the index will be passed as an argument to the generator. Now, this generated list of icons can be used to refactor the book review UI element example, making the code more maintainable. This example uses the spread operator to concisely embed one list, the five star icons, into another list. Now, the code is drier, more readable, and more maintainable. For more info on building layouts and other Flutter techniques, head to flutter.dev.